Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lucy Pay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and it's time for another Saturday Shelving Tour. Today I'm doing my Cozy Mystery C Authors. Now I've already moved a few a, a few of my A's and B's out of the way so that I could excavate my way into showing you the, the C Authors that I want to show you today. I have almost 60 of them so it's going to be kind of a long video unless I decide to break it up a little bit. I was toying around with different ideas for dividing it in half at first I thought I might break it up and show you this week the authors that I've read and then next week show you the authors that I haven't read but actually it was going to be about two-thirds to three-fourths of them that I've already read at least the authors not the entire series so I got to looking at it and realizing that my Laura Childs books are almost half so I may decide to do those in a separate video. I don't know. Let me show you everything else and we'll see how long that is and then we'll see if I want to add those in at the end and if not then I will show you those next week. So let me get a little closer here and we'll start with the first one. Alright so let's start out with Agatha Christie. I don't collect Agatha Christie books. In fact I think this is my only print copy. I've got a couple of audiobooks of Agatha Christie that I've gotten at library sales and someone gave me this one. It's the Big Four. It's a Hercule Poirot mystery and even though I don't collect them I haven't read this one so I just decided to go ahead and at least keep it until I read it. I have two books in the Rebecca Robbins series by Joelle Charbonneau. Now I have read one Joelle Charbonneau book but it was her why a dystopian novel, The Testing. I have not read any of her cozy mysteries and they seem to have a skating theme. This is book two, Skating Over the Line, and this is book three, Skating on the Edge. Here is another author that I have read. We read Homicide in Hardcover, the first in the Bibliophile Mystery Series by Kate Carlisle for the Book One Cozies Club a while back and this is the only one of the series I've read so far and I don't have book two but I do have book five, one book in the grave, and book seven, a cookbook conspiracy. This is a series about a book restorer. This series is by Erica Chase and it is the Ashton Corners Book Club Mystery Series. The first book is A Killer Read and then I have book number five, Law and Author. I only have one of these. Of course I was drawn to it because of the quilt theme. It's by Elizabeth Craig called Quilt or Innocence and it's the first in the Southern Quilting Mystery Series. I occasionally see Jill Churchill at used bookstores and thrift stores and I think I got these free somewhere. I have one from each of her series. This one is In the Still of the Night and it's a Grace and Favor Mystery. And this is A Quiche Before Dying, a Jane Jeffrey mystery. I haven't decided whether I'm going to collect Jill Churchill mysteries or not, but I am hanging on to these until I at least try one out. Just realized I have one Jill Churchill in hardcover. It is a Grace and Favor mystery, and it's called It Had to Be You. I believe last year during March Mystery Madness, Patty from uh, formerly of I Smell Books, now of Patty's Book Nook, was reading a Bookmobile Cat Mystery and I remembered that and when I saw this one at a book sale I picked it up. It's by Laurie Cass and this one is called Cat with a Clue. And this is book number five in the series, but it's a series that I definitely want to read. So when I saw this one I decided to go ahead and pick it up. And of course I'm on the hunt for book one. If you've been subscribing to my channel for a few months, you may have heard me talk about this series. It's by Elizabeth Lynn Casey and it's the Southern Sewing Circle Mystery Series. My sister has read several of these and recommended them to me. It took me quite a while to get around to reading one, but I did read one last year. I read the first one, which is So Deadly. And this year I hope to get to at least the next one, which is Death Threads. Uh, and I think I have all of them now and I think I have them stacked in order so I'll just show them to you real quick. Pinned for Murder, Deadly Notions, Dangerous Alterations, Reap What You Sow, Let It Sow, Remnants of Murder, Taken In, Wedding Duress, and Needle and Dread. From the Chris Cavender Pizza Lovers Mystery Series, I have A Pizza to Die For, and this is book number three. And in hardcover, I have Rest in Pizza, and it is book number four. I have several books in the Cleo Coyle Coffee House Mystery Series. I have On What Grounds, and I believe this is book number one. 
I have not read any of these books. Uh, I did start, I think I read the first chapter in the first one, and it sounds really good. I just haven't gotten to it. This is book three, Latte Trouble. Book four is Murder Most Frothy. Book six, French Pressed. Book nine, Roast Mortem. And book 12, Holiday Buzz. I also have one from this series in hardcover. It's Espresso Shot, and it's book seven. This one is a Christian mystery. I have not read anything by Colleen Coble, and I'm not sure if this one would count as cozy or not, but it fits on the shelf, and I was out of room on my Christian fiction shelf, so I put it here. This is Cry in the Night, a Rock Harbor mystery, and I believe this is book five in this series. I have seen this particular book in lots of different sales and uh, used bookstores and everywhere and in just a lot of places it must have been mass produced but I have not yet been able to find the first few books in this series so it looks really good I'm hanging on to it for a while and I would like to read the series I may just have to go ahead and check them out from the library at some point but I'm gonna hang on to this for now I forgot about this one this is the only one I have from the dog lovers mystery series it's by Susan Conant and it's called all shots I think the rest of my C authors are Laura Childs books so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off right here I'm gonna show you my Laura Childs books next week she has three different series and I have quite a few from each series so I believe I'm just going to put those on hold for now because I don't have a lot more editing time today I've got some other household projects I need to do so next week we'll look at Laura Childs and for now I hope you're having a great day read a good book and God bless you